professor of the Technion in Haifa, Israel. I am a, a laureate of uh, Nobel Prize in Chemistry 2011 for the discovery of quasi-periodic crystals. Before that, the definition of a crystal was a crystal is a material in which atoms are ordered and periodic. Period. If you want to understand periodicity, uh, look at tiles on the floor. If they are squares, then in each and every direction that you point, you see that the tile repeats themselves exactly the same way. This is a two-dimensional periodicity. Quasi-periodicity is more complex. It appears in nature in a more complex way, such as spirals that we find in pine cones and shells of certain sea lives. So let's talk about quasi-periodicity in two dimensions, and uh, the perfect example are Penrose tiles. And you can tile the floor with Penrose tile. You can do it uh, quasi-periodically if you follow certain matching rules, and there will be no gaps, and everything will, will be fitted uh, properly. So two-dimensional Penrose, three-dimensional are quasi-periodic crystals. So the year was 1980. Two. And uh, after lunch, I put aluminum 25 manganese into the microscope and started to look at it. When I first saw the uh, diffraction pattern with 10 fold rotation symmetry, I said, I looked at it and said in Hebrew, Ain Hayakazo. It means in English, there ain't no such animal. This discovery was a paradigm shift in crystallography created a new definition of what is a crystal. So today uh, we have uh, uh, many, many crystals. We have three dimensions across the periodicity, hundreds of them in fact. It's quite surprising that they were not discovered before. <laughs>